warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Man, so I, uh, in the in-between since, uh, since last week, I found that the voice of the robot is voiced by Ash Ketchum's Japanese voice actor, which I think is fucking crazy. I was wondering why his voice sound, sounded so familiar. I did not realize. I think that's real funny. It definitely sounds like Ash Ketchum most of the time whenever the voice actor, uh, talks. So I think that's real funny, right, about that, um. Fuck, what the fuck is this voice, uh, the robot's name? Uh, do we know? Fuck, it has to be. God, I hate the Wikipedia page. This thing is so fucking bad. Is it? Oh. Bundorio Bundares. Sure, I guess. I guess that's the name of this fucking robot. Right, but hey. Hey, it's Austin. Uh, it is still my solo series, you know? It's just me now on... As I talk about, uh, Bakukage, Bakuage Sentai Bon Boomger, uh, right? Uh, is episode two, The Insider Does Not Approve. Um, by the way, uh, everything I talked about last, last week, uh, right, is, uh, is, is does happen. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, Mira does react to the giant robot that's just chilling in the, in the space, you know? Like, she's like, oh boy, man, they're really... It really is a robot. Also, it is not a robot. It turns out this uh, giant sentient robot is actually just a giant alien that looks like a robot. Right? So, uh, there you go. Uh, in terms of nothing in this show is robots. I, I have been lied to. I am disappointed. All I want is robots, but I am not getting robots. I am getting weird al I'm getting aliens that looks like robot instead. I, I have been robbed of that. Right? So... Yeah, um, hey, uh, Taya is rich, uh, he has invested all his money into Apple stock, right, uh, he, he bought, he, he bought, uh, Bitcoin while it was low, and everything, and now he is, he has sold it, and now he is living, uh, uh, a good lifestyle, and, um, uh, Ishirio, I believe, believe, uh, the Blue Ranger, uh, he's an asshole, he does not like her, he believes that women should not be able to drive cars, he believes that women should stay in the office where they belong, you know, right, right, and everything, uh, that is his ideal, and not me just making up ideas, that is 100% fact and canon, you know, right, according to his character profile, yeah, uh, hey, the opening's okay, uh, it's just an okay opening. Um, like I said, it's really whatever, right? I like how the they keep cutting in, keep keep cutting to um to uh Bundo, Bundorio, Bundorio, right? Making curry in between all these weird action sequences that they keep that they keep doing, right? So I thought that was real funny, right? I thought that was good, all right? But yeah, um, look, they're eating curry, you know. Right, uh, hey, look, uh, once again, Mira does not know what the fuck is going on. She has to be explained the plot of the show about the aliens and everything, about the Hasalian, 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 how, like, hey, but, but, oh, yeah, by the way, these are even our, our top characters. They work for a bigger bad, like, every Sentai season, right? And then, uh, this just adds to more space alien Sentai lore, right? Like, hey, man, man, well, well, what about the, what about those guys from, uh, from Pattern? Weren't, weren't those also Space Mafia? I'm pretty sure they were Space Mafia. Weren't they, wasn't the main villain of, of Power Ranger versus Lupin Ranger also Space Mafia? Wasn't the main villain of Lupin Ranger also Space Mafia, right? I'm pretty sure they were all Space Mafia villains, right? If I, if I remember correctly, right? So, yeah, so, yeah, so, our three bads, I uh, look, um, and look, this week's Emmy is a vacuum robot. Uh, I think it looks way better than the than the wedding dress robot. You know, at least this makes sense because it's still machinery, right? I'm not sure what this. I think I guess this key could turn anything into into a into a into a monster of the week. If I believe, I think that's what it's doing. Sure, I guess. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So so there's no rule set on what can become this monster of the week. Right, yeah. Uh, we learn backstories about our main group. Uh, was it? Like I said, uh, Ichirio still thinks that women do not belong belong here, right? And we found out that hey, he was a really bad spy. It turned out, man, for a guy that whose job was to was to be a spy, he did real badly because he got caught by Taya. You know, right? Uh, what a what a 
uh, what what an idiot, you know, like man, you you failed, and now he can't, and now he uh, uh he he can't get over it, right? But yeah, yeah, uh, Mira thinks that they're that he's that she's gonna become friends with her coworker, but Ethan said, no, no, you're an idiot. Ah, no, no, hey, look, uh, look, we 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 come to scope out this guy to 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 take to take uh to to get the to get the the national secrets or whatever the fuck. Right, um, uh, people's lives are in danger. Uh, we have our recurring police officer character. Who's this guy? What's his deal? You know, right? Uh, what is he? Why does he keep showing up? You know, I wonder if he's gonna play any roles or significant. You know, what's up with him? Right, but yeah, hey, look, Mira, uh, does not want to be a bitch. Right, she says, hey, uh, she gets tired of just watching back as people get injured. Look, that's the thing about you. Shit. He would, he, he has no problem seeing a children fall down the stairs, right? And if the end, he says that the child will learn his lessons, you know, right? Look, look, if I look, if this child falls down the stairs, he will learn not to fall down the stairs next time, all right? You know, so yeah, so we should let people fall down the stairs, is what he says, right? But yeah, yeah, uh, our police officer gets knocked the fuck down. Right and uh, so I did not realize that the suit, the the wheels can, man, the the I think the the wheels on the, on the feet are like some of the best things of what they at what at what they can do. The fact that she's just reversing to fight the to fight the pressure, right, of the suction of the vacuum suction alien, whatever the fuck uh guy, guy is right. Uh, I think the wheel is, I think the feet, the feet wheels are cool. It's actually creative. It's better than the fucking, um, wheels on the, on their back, which I still think looks very fucking stupid, right? Yeah, so, uh, uh, they capture the, they send them to the garbage, you know, like, oh yeah, hey, here you go, uh, go below, you, you go here, right? Suck up all, hey, deal, deal with all this microplastic we got lying around, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so they get back the stupid, um, uh, they they get back this the stupid uh what you would call it the, the 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 briefcase or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So look, yeah, they look they they get back the briefcase. The aliens like, mm, hey, 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 I don't like this. Give 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 back the briefcase, even though I don't know what's in the briefcase, right? Uh, Ishiro feels like f- uh figures out a plan or something, and meanwhile. Where the fuck out? Ah, look, 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 he wants to be tactical. He doesn't like to come in guns up blazing, right? But yeah, uh, they fight this week's grunts. I don't know if these grunts even have names. I'm pretty sure these grunts have names, right? I just don't want to bother looking it up, right? But yeah, I do like what they do with, like I said, I think the, the wheels on the feet are probably the best thing about these suits, right? It it makes them actually appear fast and creative. I love what they are, I love what they're doing with the fuel to make it, to give them speed and advantage, right? I think that's really cool. There's another good shot later in this episode when um when Ishiro uh uses the wheel to summon a giant he summons a giant wheel or whatever right like he materializes like this giant this giant wheel to send to the enemy which I think is actually really cool and I appreciate that right yeah so was it um uh was it Yarukar I believe is his name um sucks up the alien which I I still understand why Yarukar needs to come in and suck up the alien this alien's e- evil negative energy it still doesn't make a lot of sense right for him to set, for him to suck up the negative energy right yeah I don't also don't know why they need to send every single car after him right like I, it looks like they they really, there's like only really only only need three cars because there's only three drivers right for them to send because of for that for three people to drive, so I don't know why didn't why why fucking uh, Bondario sends all every single car. I feel like that's just a waste of gas. You're using up the company's budget right that. You're using using up the company's gas budget right that. Like hey look these these cars uh needs needs gas to run, right? But yeah um they knocked out Yaru car uh once again I still don't understand what the fuck the part but uh I'm really sad we did not see Yaru car fall into the garbage. You know I feel like he should have fallen into the garbage. Like he does, like while we had last episode where he fall into the park. I feel like that should be just a comedy bit they do every week involving this character now, but they clearly did. I am really sad and disappointed by it, right? Yeah. So they fight the giant monster, um, or wherever the fuck, right? Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's just a big robot fight. Um, I thought that they were gonna do something different as the finisher. I thought when the monster was like, they were just gonna. Let them be sucked up and then just stab the giant screwdriver through the porthole, but they don't. Instead, they just, they jump over him, right? They, 
they jump, they transfer back, and then they just pile on him, right? Which I think, like, I mean, I guess you, I guess you can do that. I feel like they, what they should have done was they just jam, jam in his hole, you know, right? Look, they got this long, this long screwdriver. They might as well do something with it, right? Yeah. But yeah, they get the national secrets. They give it to the minister, the business, the CEO. Uh, this guy is uh, hanging around a young Japanese girl, right? Uh, I think this is really problematic. I understand why this national secret and why he doesn't want people to find out, right? You know, right? Uh, he's only just saying Momochan. I don't know who the fuck this is. This is. I don't know. Is this supposed to be someone relevant to Japan that I'm supposed to know? Is this a TikToker? Is she an influencer? Is that who she is? Right? Can I? Right? Should I go look up her her Instagram or something? Right? But yeah. Uh. And then by the end of this episode, Ichiro, Ichiro learns to respect women, right? I guess th- I, I guess that's what that's the big lesson of the day, you know. Uh, this ending song is okay. Like I said, it is like I said, this ending song is extremely basic. I don't I don't think there's anything extra in any song. Uh, like I said, oh yeah. By the way, the Ashes Worth is Rika Masumoto. By the way, yeah. Cause I just think it's funny how I can only hear Ash Ketchum from this, from 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 uh Bondario, right? I just think it's it's real funny, right? I guess Ash, I guess <laughs> Ash Ketchum needs something to do now, right? Now, 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 now that the show's over, right? <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> something to do because of this, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's this week's episode. I said I don't care about this ending. It's really basic, you know. I think the fact that this is what they use to CG the 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 big screen for is just do for this opening bit and nothing else for the show. I think it's real funny, right? Like I remember, like because like that was one of the thing about King Ojin, how they were how they were excited about using C, uh, green screen to their full advantage, and for this show, it was like, eh, we we just use it for the backup dance. That's it, you know. That's all we're gonna do. Right, that, 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 that's all. That's all. Look, look, man. We spent all of our we spent all of our green screen budget on King Ojo, so the best we're gonna do is just the shitty, uh, the the, the shibby little chibi, uh, style background image, and that's it. Right, but yeah, um, that's just who's up. It's okay, whatever. I like said, I think these episodes are really basic. Right, I think they're definitely going back to basic uh, with with, with Bambuja, and nothing exciting so far is happening. Right, I get this episode is, I mean, it's not offensive. It is just okay, right? That says it. There's, there's nothing else to say about it. All right, ah, that's all I got. I got nothing else. All right, that's this week's episode. Kate, thanks. Bye.